Hey guys, so today is the, oh, okay, technically today is the 8th of uh, December, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, but who cares? <laughs> so yesterday, if we want to go by yesterday's time zone, <laughs> sorry, it's been a long day, like holy crap, and this is crooked, and I don't know why, so give me a sec. Okay, okay sorry, the thing was crooked. Anyway, so if we want to go by yesterday's time zone, time day, it was 7th of December, Saturday. Um, so it's 1 o'clock in the morning, I'm bugged. Anyway, so last night, let's go by that time guide. I saw Hailstorm perform live for the very first time, and oh my god, I'm so excited, I'm so happy. But I'm so bugged, and I don't want to go to bed. I have to check out at 10 a.m. That's like in a few hours time, and I'm awake. God damn it, I'm so glad I asked for the day off tomorrow, today. Ah, my days are all out. God. Okay, so um, I lined up for Hailstorm at 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 p.m. So I was like, yeah, times. I lined up for Hailstorm at 2 p.m. and um, there, there was a few people in front of me. I heard that the earliest person got there at 10 a.m. I was like, are you guys insane? Are you okay? But I mean, waiting 2 o'clock is bad enough. I've never done that before. Um, so it was a long wait, but I made some friends. I don't know who they are. <laughs> um, one's New Zealand. One, one's from New Zealand. She now lives in Australia. And the other one is a guy who I don't know, but he was really nice. So we, we all three of us started chatting the whole night um, while we were in line, and then we got lost. Well, not lost. They went to Mosh Pit, and I went to Balcony because I don't like Mosh Pits. Um, but anyway, it was a really lovely night and really cool. Uh, so when they opened the doors up at like few minutes before 7.30, it was supposed to be 7, but a few minutes to 7.30, they opened the doors up and I went straight to the merch stand and I saw the merch and I was like, cool, merch. I was actually trying to find Hailstorm merchandise online and I know Hailstorm has their own website dedicated to merch, but for some reason I was like, I don't like any of it, which is really bad because normally I like merchandise and normally I buy merchandise before I go to concerts and then I'm prepared, so that's why yeah. But everybody liked this, so I'm happy. Um, <laughs> oh god. Um, yeah, so I bought the merchandise. I kind of like bought everything. And I'm not even kidding, like everything. Um, please don't smash. Hailstorm t shirt uh, with their tour dates. I actually like that, it's like a moth. It's so cool. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, another Hellstorm t-shirt. Uh, another one. They don't have the year. Or they just have like the location. They don't have the year or the date. I, I have a thing about tour shirts needing this. Okay, so Villainy was the opening act. Um, they're a New Zealand band. And they're the first time I've heard them perform live. And they if, I don't know why, but for some reason, Villainy reminds me of Green Day. And I'm like, I'm cool with that. I like Green Day. Um, so they were, Villainy was played for about just under an hour. I think like 45 minutes or something. I don't know. By the time I took my clock phone, it was like 8.40. So yeah, probably a half an hour. They were pretty cool seeing perform lines. I ended up also buying one of their albums. I was like, you know what? You guys are worth it. I'm buying it. Um, and then Hailstorm performed at 9.30 and oh my god, like holy crap, okay, so I've never been to a Hailstorm concert, I've never seen Hailstorm perform live, I haven't, I've only heard their live performances online and I mostly just listen to the albums that I have, which is two, but they have more than two albums, but <laughs> you know, um, so I was like, okay, Hailstorm, you know, they're epic, they're amazing, whatever, and then, whew, Seeing them perform live is a whole other story. Like Lizzie's pipes, holy crap, that woman can sing. She can belt a tune out. She can, oh, oh my God. And then she wears heels. Like, are you insane, woman? Like, they're that high and they're like that skinny. Like, oh my God, I can't even stand in flats. How are you standing in those heels and jumping? And, oh, but, you know, all of them were amazing. Um, but, like, even RJ and the drums is like, Holy crap, the drums solos he did, it was like, and then flipping the, oh, like, oh my god, it was, it was, oh, like, mind-blowing, oh my god, it was fun. Um, 
yeah <laughs> so it's like oh it's 1 30 now yeah i'm tired um anyway so the reason it's 1 30 after seeing how storm from live i was really excited after it's 1 30 the, the band finished at 11 and people started leaving around then but i saw a crowd of people waiting near the car park of the of tivoli and i was like okay i'm just gonna hang here so from 11 o'clock through to about 12 15 we all waited not all of us but a few of us waited for somebody to come out and come 12 12 15 12 30 the band started trickling out first it was aj rj a rj aj and oh my god he was like a bouncing puppy it was like a puppy just coming home for the first time and seeing all these like oh he, he was so bouncy he was so happy oh and then he saw my thing and he was we started talking about her party was like ah oh. and everyone and he's like oh he asked me what house i was in i was like in slytherin and he's like what house do you think i'm in and people started shouting like half a puff and raven call at him he's like yeah I'll, I'll deal with that but he was really lovely um uh and then josh 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 yeah josh came out and I was like, I completely blanked. I was like, I only know RJ and Lizzie. I don't know who these guys are. And so they were coming up and talking to us and we were just striking up a combat as if we actually knew them. And then the girl standing next to me, which is the New Zealand lady that I met in the line. And she's like, can I get your photo? I was like, oh, okay, I'll get your photo too. Like, like if she's taking a photo of you, I'll get a photo of you too. So yeah, I got a selfie with them and then Lizzie came out, actually no, before Lizzie came out, oh, Lizzie came out as well, but while she's doing that, um, Villainy came out, and oh my god, these guys are so nice, again, it was a full-on strike up a conversation as if we actually knew these people, like, they were so down to earth and chill, and there was a New Zealand band, and I was like, oh, and I told them, I was like, you know, I've never heard you guys prior tonight, you know, the girl next to me was telling me about you guys, and, and I was like, oh, you know, I'm now a fan, I bought your album. They're like, oh, you know, I imagine if you said you bought your album and you thought oh, we were shit. I was like, yeah, yeah nah. Um, and then the lead singer, I don't know his name, but the lead singer, blonde hair guy, gave me Milky Ways. He's like, you want some Milky Ways? And I'm like, yeah, okay. And I found a drum pick on the floor. <laughs> I'll explain that anyway. Anyway, so they were really nice. And um, this guy with the hat on, um, we started talking about Harry Potter, so me and the Kiwi girl, I think her name's Varian, so her and I were talking about Harry Potter with the, the guy with the hat, and we were like talking about um, Cursed Child and Puffs, and talking about houses, and how his wife's in uh, Hufflepuff, and he's in Slytherin, and, and it was like a full-on conversation as if we were actually friends, it was so cool. And then... Um, I met Lizzie and oh my god the poor woman is so tired you could just see it she was like you could just see it on her face she just wanted to go to bed but everyone obviously being who she is she, she met all these fans and the photos she's trying her hardest but she's like I'm so tired like she didn't say that but you could just see it all over her face and you look at the photos and you're like I, 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 uh, I feel bad now thanks Lizzie <laughs> I mean it's not your fault it's our fault but you know She's so bugged, but she's so gorgeous. And then we met Joe, Josh, Joe. I don't know another one. See again, I only know RJ and Lizzie. Um, again, it, I took a photo with him. He was nice, but it, it was it was so amazing. I spent like an hour and a half just talking to these people as if they were my friends, as if you know we were just hanging out for you know in our backyard for the sake of it. And I was like, oh wow, like. You're human. <laughs> You're human. That's insane. <laughs> oh god. Oh, um, you may or may not have seen on Instagram. I also got a pic. I mean, I showed you this one. Okay, so for those who follow Hailstorm, you'll know that Lizzie does her find a Hailstorm pic. Oh, I got two. Oh. And um. Anyway, so she's dropping everything. Uh, so Lizzie did her find a hailstorm guitar picks, and I was find following her Instagram because I saw it this morning, and I was like, oh, that is so cool. I want to be part of it. Where did it go? And um, I got this one. 
two. I'll give it another one. Anyway, so I was following her Instagram all often and going, come on lady, post something. You know, I want to see where you put them in Brisbane. And so probably about two hours before they opened the doors, I would check my Instagram again and saw all these updates around where she placed all these pics. And I ended up getting one, like, ah, oh, like, ah, oh, and then her signature's on the back. Like, that is so cool. I absolutely loved it. And the guys that I met in Lyme, the, not Varen, the Kiwi girl, but the other guy that I met, he came up to me after the show and he's like, do you want to pick? I'm like, yeah, okay. He gave me Joe's pick. Um, QC. It's like Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> oh, it's not working. Yeah. And then on the back, it's his signature. Oh, I think that is so cool. So it says, um, new, now that's a pick. <laughs> I was like, that's very Crocodile Dundee. And I found this one on the floor. <laughs> I don't know, something like hit me while I was talking to um, Villainy. And I was like, is this anybody's? And I, uh, Villainy was like, you can claim it now. Um, and yeah, it's another pick. Woohoo. And it's a Hailstorm one. <laughs> yeah. So that was really cool. So I have three picks from Hailstorm. And it's the first time I have like guitar picks or concert picks or anything like that. Like, ah! Um, yeah, I also filled up my phone. My memory card is now full. My phone is now full with Hailstorm, and I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Um, but I probably won't show the videos or photos. I mean, <laughs> it's so cool. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, this is my first time seeing Hailstorm perform live, and so for me to be part of this was amazing. The crowd was amazing. Like, they were friendly ish. I say ish because we did have a few issues when we were lining up, but once we were in that concert hall, everyone was pretty chill. And then um, everyone was pretty nice and, and you know, they weren't a-holes, they were like people, they were just, you could just interact with them without them being rude to you, so it was great being part of a fan base that has actually decent human beings and not a-holes, because that's very rare. <laughs> um, yeah. God, what time is it? Uh. One thirty now. I swear to God, it was one thirty before. Anyway, um, but yeah, no, I, if you've never seen House Drum perform live, you should totally go do it, especially if you're a fan, because it's a whole new experience. It's amazing, and you have to follow Lizzie's Instagram stories because she posts find my pics, and find my pics is really cool. I was actually walking in, like I was aiming to find a guitar pick, but because I went to the merch stand first, I was like, damn it, I won't find one. And so I, I was watching people look for guitar picks. They had the, you know, the torch on the phone on and they were looking around the building. And I was like, okay, fine, I probably won't find one. So I started going upstairs to head to the balcony. And I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna look for the sake of looking. And next thing you know, I stumble upon a guitar pick. I was like, oh, that is so cool. What are the chances? You know, all these people walking past and I got this pick. So I was so happy. I have photos up on Instagram of that now. <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, go check out what I've posted on Instagram because that's pretty cool. Links are in the description box. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really glad I got to interact with the band and have a meet and greet afterwards and meet Villainy and, and Hailstorm and how down to earth all of them are and how epic they are alive. And I'm now a fan of Villainy and I'm now going to continue to go to Hailstorm concerts. But I'm not going to be a stalker. As much as I would like those guys to know my face and my name, I don't want a restraining order against me. <laughs> so, yeah. But actually, funny thing is, I can say this now because this video will be posted later. But the funny thing is, I'm in the same hotel as Hailstorm and as Villainy. So, maybe I get to see them again in the morning. <laughs> Who knows? But um, yeah, it would be quite interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even think I'm going to go to sleep. It's like 1.30 in the morning. I'm normally in bed by 9pm. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. Everybody was sober-ish. I mean, the bands were sober-ish. They were coming out. They were sober. But they're like, we've got beer to keep us going. And we've got mixed nuts and Milky Ways. And who knows? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say, otherwise I'm going to keep rambling. But other than that, Hailstorm is epic. Villainy is epic. You should check both those bands out if you haven't already. And you should see both those bands live if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in another video. Maybe. I don't know, it's one thirty in the morning. I want cold bed. Cold bed now. Mayonnaise.